watched. My name is Ali K, and I would like to tell you about my first pet. However, before I can, you have to understand that I am a little older than you are and have a family of my own. Oh, don't worry. I am not going to talk to you like a big person. I am going to let my imagination take me back in time to when I was seven years old. The best part is that I don't have to try to remember everything. All I have to do is open my journal and read. If you are a girl or a boy and don't have a journal to write down all the special things, get one. As you grow, you can read it, and your imagination will magically send you back in time. Ah, there is the entry, my first pet. Dear journal, this morning I asked my mom if I could have a pet, and she said no. She said that pets make a mess and are a big responsibility. Then she said I wasn't old enough or responsible enough to take care of a pet. Well, I know I would take good care of a pet. I am so sad. I really, really, really want a pet of my own, and I can't have one. After reading her journal entry, the magic happened. Ali K was transported back in time and was seven years old. Imagination and memories are the best time machine. I just got home from school and put my books down when my mom said, "Ali K, if you have any homework, you had better get it done now. Your brother is spending the night at a friend's house, so I have decided to take you to the carnival." I shrieked in excitement and couldn't help doing my happy dance. They were always different. Sometimes I put my hands under my arms, like little wings, and strut like a chicken. Other times I spin around like a great ballerina. Today, for some reason, I put my hands in front of my ears, wiggled them, puffed up my cheeks, and moved around like a fish. I will do my homework right now, Mom. I said, "Oh." I just couldn't wait. I'm going to the carnival. I'm going to the carnival. I'm going to the carnival. I sang as I did my happy dance. Mom asked me what I wanted to do first. Without hesitating, I said, "Cotton candy." Let's get cotton candy. Mom didn't get any, but I got the jumbo size, rainbow colored. Fluffy, sticky, delicious spun sugar blob on a stick. It was wonderful. And then, I can still taste it. Mom, let's ride the Ferris wheel. I said excitedly. After a short time in line, it was our turn. We stepped up a few stairs, took our seats, and a man buckled us in. We were off. I shrieked with excitement as we started going around, higher and higher. I screamed when we got to the top. It was really high. When we started going down, I got a tickle in my stomach. It made me laugh. It was great. Let's play a game, Mom. I said. There, that one where all the kids are throwing balls. As I walked up to the game, I saw fish bowls, and each one had a fish in it. I really got excited. Mister, Mister, I said to the man behind the counter, "How does the game work?" The nice man said, "You get one ball for twenty-five cents. If you can get it in a bowl, you win a pet fish." He said the magic word, "Pet." Ali K, let's go to another game. Mom said, "I told you, you can't have a pet." Oh, please, Mom, please! I said in my saddest voice. Then the nice man looked at my mom and said, "Lady, 
It is really hard to win, so I don't think you have to worry. Oh, please, Mom, please, I said again. Then a strange thing happened. My mom said, Okay, Ali K, if you can get the ball in the bowl, in one try, you can have a pet fish. I didn't know what to say. Mom said I could have a pet fish. As I looked at all the fish and watched others tossing balls at the bowls, I spotted the prettiest goldfish I had ever seen. I just had to have him. I took aim, gently tossed the ball at the bowl, and then tightly closed my eyes. I just could not look. We have a winner, I heard the nice man say. When I opened my eyes, he was holding out the fishbowl and the prettiest goldfish for me to take. I am going to name you Mobus, I said to the fish. I think I saw him smile. Then I looked at Mom. I didn't know her face could look so funny. As we were leaving the game, the nice man said, Remember, don't feed him too much. I had my first pet. When we got home, I told Mom not to worry. I would be responsible and take very good care of Mobus. Every day I would feed Mobus and talk to him. I even tried to get him to do tricks. But that didn't work. After several days, Mobus didn't look too good. I asked Mom what I should do, but she didn't know. She said she never had a pet and that I had said I would be responsible for Mobus. I was sad and scared. I didn't want anything bad to happen to Mobus. Ali K, Mom said. The man down the street has a fish pond. Maybe he can help Mobus. I picked up the bowl and headed to my neighbor's house as fast as I could. Mom was right behind me. I had seen the man many times and knew that his children were grown and had children of their own. But I had never talked to him. I was nervous and a little scared. But I rang his doorbell. Hi, I said in a bubbly voice. My name is Ali K and I live down the street. Nice to meet you, he said. I am Ted, but my grandchildren call me Pop Pop, and you can too. Oh, I see you have a very pretty goldfish. What's his name? Mobus, I replied. Pop Pop continued. Mobus looks like he needs his water changed. Come on out back to my fish pond and we will refresh him. Pop Pop said, Ali K, you are a very responsible young person. You recognized that Mobus was a little under the weather and got him some help. Others may have just let him live in dirty water, getting sicker and sicker. You must really love Mobus. Oh, I do, I said. Mobus is my first pet. Will he be all right? At that, Pop Pop put Mobus in the fish pond with all the other fish. I started to say something and Pop Pop said, don't worry. Let's get Mobus a bigger bowl. I'll trade you this small one for a big one. How could I refuse? Pop Pop then gave me a big bowl and said, Go get some gravel, wash it, put it in the bowl, and fill the bowl with water. I did and by the time I was done, Pop Pop had Mobus in a net and ready for his new home. My mom and I thanked Pop Pop, and as we were leaving, he said two things. To me, remember to change his water every three days, and if you need help, please ask. To my mom, you must be proud to have such a responsible and caring pet owner as your daughter.
As Mom and I stood by the table and watched Mobus swimming in his new home, she gave me a hug and said, I am glad you got your first pet.